So what am I doing here? Well, you have a good palate. Yes. But the way you describe wine is, it's a little airy-fairy. What you're trying to say to me is I'm not very good at tasting wine and telling people what it tastes like. Correct. Okay. Right. So what I'd like to do yes. is I would like to walk you through how winemakers and wine people review wine. If you turn the wine like that and you look on the edge of the wine where the wine touches the glass, that's called the hue. And the younger a white wine is, the more green the hue. And then as the wine ages, it becomes green, green straw, straw, straw brown, brown over the hill. If you look at a wine glass, it's normally fatter here and smaller here. And why do we do that? Why is it like that? So it goes around the outside of it? Very good. What it does is it concentrates the characters of the aroma. That's what it does. But with a cooking vessel, yes. like a wok, for instance, it gives you a larger surface area, and that means you've got circulation of heat, which means that you get greater flavour out of something because of that circulation. Okay, well what we're trying to do is we're trying to then take that and then concentrate it into a smaller area so that you can smell all the idiosyncrasies of that wine. Okay? Don't have to call me that. <laughs> now let's just have a little smell. So the wine on the left that looks young. Now what does it smell like? If it, if it looks young it should smell more fruity, shouldn't it? It smells of Citrus fruit. Very good. Okay. But so it doesn't smell of oranges. It smells more, and I, I'm going to be really verbose, it smells more yuzu. Yuzu? Yuzu, sort of light mandarin y. Um, I'd say lime rind. Okay. Can we move on? So. Now, this wine, smell this. Tell me the characters on that. Does it have the same characteristic as this? No, it's more biscuity, nutty. I've taken some biscuits out of the oven, but I've actually got some grated citrus inside my biscuit. Absolutely correct, and there's one other character I've got in there. something right. No, absolutely correct. Plus, there's one other character there. Come on. Metal. Toast. You've got toast, you've got that biscuity character. That's an indication that the wine is older. But as I do, you are talking about this, I'm actually smelling layers, and I can almost visualise there are layers of different flavours, almost as like it's a trifle in a glass, and as I'm going through it, each one, one is more prominent, one's sort of, there's primary, then secondary, then tertiary, and that's how it's coming through. Okay, the word you're after is complexity. Okay. And that comes through age. Let's taste these wines. You talked about lime juice on the nose, right? Again, you get that lime juice character on the palate. Absolutely. Wine on the right. Complexity. Are you tasting on the palate what you smelt on the nose? But isn't it amazing that this, this first wine, the younger wine, in my mind, is far more versatile in the food world than the older wine. The older wine, because of its sophistication, needs to be with specific things. This, however, this young one, I think covers a multitude of sins. And sins, I mean great food. But one thing I have learnt is the older wine becomes a little bit more food specific. I agree with that 100%. Because of my association with John, we've actually been able to take wine into totally different areas that you wouldn't think you would do. For example, John has taught me that he can put together a chicken dish and use Merlot and have the wine and food work like this. Because we always think, chicken, gotta have white wine. Not necessarily if you change the way you prepare the dish. And at the end of the day, it's your palate and you can't be wrong. If you consider tasting food, tasting wine, is there a difference? Well, great food is about flavour, uh, then it's about flavour, and then it's about flavour. And then after that, then it's enhanced by texture. Tasting wine is probably not dissimilar, but, the one thing about tasting wine, which is very, very different, is about smelling it. So there is an additional sense when you taste wine compared to food. But we want the same thing. We want to love it. We want to enjoy it, and we want to be excited by it.